Welcome to another video of Dutch guinea pigs. So in today's video I'm going to make a snuckle mat and I saw this on the internet. Some people use it for their dogs or their cats and you can buy them in stores but they're pretty expensive. So I googled around and I discovered on how you can make one of your own. So this is how the snuckle mat looks like and you can put treats in it. But maybe for guinea pigs it's not a good idea because you will encourage them to eat the fleece. It depends on your guinea pig. But I also thought it would be a fun activity just to sniff around, to lay on it and just use it as a chill mat. So over here we got some different uh, colors of fleece. I got a big pile over there with some fleece. And what you want to do is you're going to cut some strings that I got over here. So they're pretty long and then you're going to cut them in some smaller pieces uh, mine are let's see 15 centimeters and they're two and a half centimeters wide so there's an easy trick to cut them all the same size and I'm going to show it to you guys I'm going to put my camera down and hopefully I can do this Okay, so you're going to take your string and you're going to need something that's 50 centimeters long. So I've used this and you're going to wrap it around actually. So just like this, just wrap it around and not too tight because you don't want to stretch the fleece. So just wrap it around just like that. And then you're going to hold it in the middle and cut it. And also the other side like that and then you have strips all the same size like it's so easy I saw someone doing this in the internet and I thought oh my god this is so smart like it saves you so much time you like now I've cut six of these and otherwise you just cut one and you need to measure it and yeah so let's go do it again with a different color because maybe that's better to see on camera so you also got this piece of bits sometimes on your fleece just cut that off because it's really not going to be pretty okay so again just take your mole and of course you can make them longer like if you're going to make this for your cat or your dog maybe it's uh, more fun for them if they're longer but for the guinea pigs I really want them to be the snuggle mat to be like maybe this long also because it needs to be easy to clean with the guinea pigs like you need to clean it every week if you're going to put it in their cage so but that's just my choice so there you go and these are actually one two three four five six seven ones so that's how easy it is and i just realized that i've cut every color except this one so i got the orange and the yellow and the green and the uh, fuchsia pink but not this one so i'm going to cut a few for you guys and then you can also see how i do this so let's speed it up. So as you could see, um, sometimes you keep these little bits because I didn't measure them 
exactly but you can save them if you like have hamsters they really love to um, use it to make a nest so I'm going to save this for uh, Pepper and Lily and now I'm going to show you how we're going to make this snuggle mat all right so over here we got the mat and I got all the bits of fleece I'm going to put this aside All right, just like that, it's going to be a mess. So over here, I started with this knot and I really didn't like it. So I decided to go with this one because the fleece really stands up. It looks pretty on the back. So I'm going to take this one off, the green one. And I knotted really hard, so I'm going to cut it. Sorry, sorry fleece. So the point of this is you need to knot it very uh, very tight because uh, this mat is able to go in the wash machine, what I've heard. So I'm going to test it out of course. And if you live in Holland it's from Curver. You can buy it at uh, Marskramer and Blocker. So it's a mat uh, that you put in your sink to protect your sink against your dishes. like. Don't know but it's basically a rubber mat with holes in it and some people your um, and some people use a doormat for their dogs of course not for guinea pigs but yeah just google it snuggle mat and then you see a lot of these so what you're going to do you're going to take a string and you're going to fold it in half and put it through a hole so that's what I'm going to do right now So put it through a hole and then you're going to put it in the hole next to it, like left or right, doesn't really matter. Alright, so you got it like this and then you're going to put your finger through it, like that. And you're going to take the fleece through the hole and then just knot it. And that's it. So this is the length you will get if you use my measurements, like it's not that very long, but I don't want it to. So yeah, I'm going to knot a few of these and then I'm going to show it to you guys. Okay guys, so I finally finished the snuggle mat and it's over here and it's very pretty, but it was a lot of work. It took me four and a half hours to finish it and this is what it looks on the back so that's actually very pretty as well i missed one over here but you can see that so we're going to look what the piggies think about it you're excited yeesh okay so i'm just going to put it in the middle for now to see what they're going to do with it What's that? You can snuggle on it. It's very soft. Yeesh. Mm. It's also dinner time, so they're like, where are my veggies? No. Mm. 